everything for Bitcoin is going according to our plan. And today we have to talk about your last potential chance to get on this Bitcoin trading train that we are on before it's too late. Today might be your last chance for it. So definitely make sure if you want to make here some money in the immediate short term to subscribe to the channel, like this video and also activate the bell so that you will never miss out on these money printing videos. And now let's directly get into it. So I have today prepared a lot of of stuff for you guys. Let me start off here with the daily chart. So here on the daily chart, we see that Bitcoin did finally retest the 50 EMA and exactly as I was expecting it, that we got a, yeah, a really small rejection from it. It's not a heavy one, it's a really small one. It was, we are just $300 away from it. So this can still technically lead to a break above it by today, potentially tomorrow, into $44,000 in my opinion. Because we are so close to that level, I believe that we're going to nick it a little bit. If we continue to get rejected from here, then most likely, again, the downside target would be really shallow and would be now around the 100 moving average here. So where we are also basically bounced off from. Go to... The weekly chart, this looks to me really, really bullish right now, the way how this weekly candle is shaping here, because it's basically a, a pin needle, which is also a signal for a reversal or continuation back to the upside after we got here this initial. And here on the weekly chart, you see again why 44,000 is so important. If I draw here a line like this and put the price to 44,000, you see that all closed candle bodies in the prior weeks are around that level. So once we would break through it and would close a weekly candle above that level, Bitcoin will definitely continue to go higher here, potentially into $50,000. So, But we are not there yet. I'm not believing that this is happening like immediately. I could imagine that we are retesting the $44,000 level, as I said. And from there, we have to, to have another look where we might potentially heading because I believe still that because of all the liquidity that's sitting up there, that the most likely scenario is a small rejection with some con followed consolidation before we finally break it. And that could actually happening be happening around or after the, uh, the halving. So just before or after, in my opinion. I believe in the last three to four weeks before the halving, we could see a break through that level and go a little bit higher. Now, when we go to the four hourly chart, here you can clearly see why Bitcoin is not moving higher right now because we are running into this resistance block here, uh, into that uh, supply zone from 42,580 all the way up to 43,224. Yeah, 24, correct. So, and you can also see here why I always had this middle line here drawn at $42,800 because here, when we are going back in the past of uh, Bitcoin's price action, we can clearly see that this was a significant level for support and then also for resistance and how the Bitcoin price reacted from that specific level. So I'm not surprised right now that Bitcoin got rejected from it. Um, regardless that I believe that we might actually break through this uh, in the next 24 hours. When we are going to our trade setup. So two days ago, I called, if we were, or even three days ago, I talked about this. If we break here $40,300, that is your signal to get in. If you would have listened to me, then this trade here would have been up 5.3% right now, plus the leverage that you're, uh, or multiplying the leverage that you have. Uh, so, and we are only 2% away 2.3% away from our target here at $44,000, uh, sorry, $43,400 for the imminent short term. So if you entered the, tr uh, the other trade yesterday that I gave you here at $42,200, then you would be also already up 0.5% uh, and earlier you would have been up 1.4%. I will be honest with you guys, I got stopped out twice uh, out of the trades this morning once and then I reopened another trade here on CoinW got stopped out again but 
I made already 50% uh, on this account here. I started with $5,000, almost um, 50%. And now I'm sitting here at $7,218 in um, less than two days. So when we go here to position history, so here you can see it. You see here, realized PNL. That was from this morning. And you see here, stop loss. That was $1,548 in a profit. And then here, $956 in a profit. So basically, I made $2,500. Uh, it's just minus the fees, you know, that I had to pay. Uh, so technically, I made 50% uh, um, on um, this account here in less than, um, yeah, 24 hours, I, I believe. I still haven't figured out how to do here copy trading feature. But it's fine. I'm going to find find out how to, how to do it. Um, I didn't heard back from my contact yet. I guess it's because of the weekend. But I'm going to figure it out. Uh, for now, just follow the trades that I give you here. And like I said, the, the trades that I've given so far are um, in massive profits. Now, why is this your last chance here to catch this potential trade? Again, because I believe that you have here one chance that Bitcoin is coming back potentially to $42,300 because we're not far away from it and re-enter this trade or enter it for the first time and trade this with us together to like $44,000. So I actually going to extend this one here now to $44,000. And you see now it's a 4.14% trade if we get this retracement, which I believe is going to happen before we go higher. Just for a simple fact that we have here on the four hourly chart, seven candles already pushing to the upside. So I believe the next one will be a corrective one. And then maybe continuation or we have some consolidation here on the four hourly chart before we're moving higher, which would be absolutely fine guys. So, but it will give you an opportunity to enter this trade here if you missed it yesterday. And I will also at that level re-enter the trade here once again to trade it to the $44,000 target. If you're already here in this trade, then don't go and try uh, to add to your position or something like that. Leave it as it is. If you're in this trade, let it run. I would not change anything because you're on massive profits. Uh, I would only maybe raise my stop loss uh, to like $41,700. That's more or less half of the trade uh, to secure some uh, profits. And guys, don't forget, if you want to trade anywhere these kind of trades, do it on a Bybit. You'll still get $30,000 for using my specific link here and a potential debit card. The same for BitGet. Also with that specific link, you can apply for a debit card really, really soon. I will actually reach out to my Bybit manager, uh, to, to my BitGet manager and ask if I can get some uh, Bybit, uh, BitGet, BitGet, not Bybit, BitGet cards for you guys. Um, I actually gonna do that uh, after this video um, directly because otherwise I'm going to forget about it. Uh, if you, Again, if you just want to copy my trades, you see on CoinW I am highly successful right now um, without KYC, without VPN, then sign up on CoinW uh, with my link here down below. Um, otherwise, if you want to claim the highest bonus in the industry and you don't care about KYC uh, to do it, then go to Fairdesk. Also, there you can copy trade all my altcoin trades. So now let's move on here with Bitcoin and then we also talk a little bit about altcoins. So when we're looking at liquidation levels, um, we see Bitcoin cleared up a lot of uh, short over leveraged short liquidations here on the way up. I told you guys there was a short squeeze coming. I told you about it uh, all the way down here that there is one coming so we got now that short squeeze um, it is not completely done yet but i believe we need some consolidation as i said before we get the next one uh, which is absolutely fine uh, below us i also see again some the gen degenerates um, over leveraging themselves here on uh, longs uh, which will give um, at some point an opportunity to grab liquidity to the downside and gives us a better uh, DCA option to DCA more into our longs that you should have opened from here. So, but don't forget if that is for a long-term play, not for the trade that we are trading right now, you know? So if you, like me, bought some Bitcoins here 
and opened a long position. It then um, after the liquidity grab to like 44, 46, a move back to like 41, 42 will give a great opportunity to add to a position that you have already since all the way down here. When we're looking at the liquidation heat map, here you can see what we liquidated. Uh, so we liquidated here yesterday over 200 million approximately. Uh, in short liquidations, if I move this here to a one month chart, you're going to see there's still a lot of liquidity above us here to like $46,000, $43,000. There's still liquidity left. Uh, so here is quite a bunch. Um, here you see $360 million at $46,000 is here left. So, and that would also mark a resistance level that we potentially are not breaking imminently. So, if we would get up there, we would get rejected, in my opinion, but we would clear that level uh, when it comes to the short liquidations. Now, when we're looking at the order book here on Bookmap, so here you see how bears and bulls are fighting here over the weekend, and that here a lot of a short selling happened around $42,500 and that bears are trying to keep the price down. So which might be only temporarily because if I zoom out here, you see we are fighting here between, what is this? Um, can I see this? Uh, I have to zoom in for this. 42350 to 42500 um, that is our trading rate. So it's just a $150 trading range that we are respecting right now where we are fighting about to go higher or lower from here. Again, nothing has changed. $44,000, $45,000 are the next bigger sell walls here based on the bits on the order book. And you can see here at 41, this is also getting hotter and 40 also. So even if we would come down, these levels will definitely hold support in my opinion for quite a while and otherwise we have here really really strong bits below at 38,500 and 38,000 dollars so there is a strong floor right now here uh, based on the order book and um, yeah the next imminent levels haven't changed since yesterday it's still 44 and 45,000 dollars now when we are going back here to the charts I still believe that here on the CME chart and also on the uh, spot chart, the potential for getting uh, an inverse head and shoulders um, are quite high right now. And also that we are getting a small CME gap later. And this will be actually at a higher price than we closed. And this is actually the reason, the real reason why I believe that we're going to see a small retrace back to our initial entry from yesterday from our trade and then we can um, trade this all the way up to $44,000 because if the Bitcoin price pushes only a little bit higher, let's say to $42,800 and we have there the CME gap, I don't believe that Bitcoin will start continue to rally and then later comes back down to fill this, which is of course a possibility. I believe that we are filling this first and then go to the upside into these uh, resistance areas of 44 and $45,000. Like I said, I want to talk also a little, about, uh, a little bit about altcoins. Um, when we're looking at altcoins that are outperforming right now, uh, Bitcoin, so we see here INJ is moving up, AVEX is uh, here moving up, Solana is having a pump right now. So a lot of coins are moving today, uh, regardless that it's the weekend, which is actually quite nice. I see it also on my altcoin trades, they're performing quite well. And when we're looking at the Bitcoin dominance, then we also see that we are potentially topping out here right now, because we had here again, a lot of green consecutive candles pushing to the upside. Uh, regardless, I still believe that when Bitcoin really starts running here and breaks $44,000, that I believe that we're going up here to retest the 54% level more or less, get rejected from there and go then finally um, around or after the halving here into the 48% for, uh, yeah, level on the dominance and experience a real alt season uh, precursor uh, to what's actually still coming later down 
the road. So right now it looks like if we close the candle as it is here on the Bitcoin dominance, that we are topping out. The next one should be also go to the downside, which will then of course lead to a nice pump in altcoins overall. The total market cap, uh, this candle is flip-flopping from red to green. So, but again, I always told you guys, as long as we are staying here in this altcoin season uh, resistance area, it is bullish to me. Uh, so we could see next week a push out of it here to the upside uh, with a retest of $1.8 trillion. But I'm going to warn you guys, if we get that retest up here, I'm exiting all my uh, altcoin positions for the time being and take profit and wait what's going to happen here. If we break it, I'm just going to open new positions. But if we're going to reject, then I just... Um, buy a lot of my positions way, way lower than I initially did and will wait until this settled. So we uh, will have definitely a really interesting week um, coming up here uh, to see uh, what's actually going to happen here with altcoins overall um, if we continue to go lower here or get a push to the upside. But I believe for now uh, with how the price action is shaping up here that we are about to get a retest of $1.8 trillion um, potentially already next week. So which would be $200, million, uh, $200 billion more coming into the altcoin um, and Bitcoin market overall. Now, Ethereum, remember that I spoke about this ABC correction after uh, completing a five-wave Elliott count. So it looks that we are perfectly on track here for that. We are almost halfway through it. And I'm just patiently waiting to get this push here into the 0 0.65, 0 0.618 level. Um, I'm, of course, also trading Ethereum right now. And I will keep laddering into my positions here. I think I will stop laddering when we are breaking a 0 0.382, um, 2,377 dollars on Ethereum, and then just take profit all the way up here. And actually, up here, I'm gonna open a short position back down here to potentially 2,000 dollars if we get it. So it could be also that we just keep going up and up and up because of the Bitcoin halving being really, really close and the Ethereum ETF coming up. And uh, an invalidation for that would be if we are breaking through the golden ratio here. So if price action just keeps pumping through it, uh, this ABC correction is cancelled and invalidated. And we have then a new look uh, what's actually happening here. That's actually already everything for today's episode, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you were able to catch the trade in the last two days when I spoke about it. If not, like I said, it's not the end of the world. Catch it this time and make here some money with us. And don't forget, smash up the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and I'm going to see you then again tomorrow.